correspondent David Silito reports. People have been coming here for at least four or five thousand years. So we're walking in feet of history. When the wind blows, some people say they hear a strange hum. Thomas Hardy wrote about it in Tess of the Dervilles. And Dr. Rupert Till is convinced the sound of Stonehenge is part of its magic. You hear between each beat a little echo as the sound leaves you, hits the stone and comes back to you here. Bang! The problem is this is just a fragment of a sound people would have heard 4,000 years ago. I met the site's historian, Susan Green. So this is the front door of Stonehenge we're going through right, right now. Yes. And we're coming into the central space now. It does change a bit as you walk through, doesn't it? It does. You get that feeling of being enclosed and within a space. And that's with most of the stones, well, many of the stones, having gone. That's right. So what we're looking at today is, is the ruin of Stonehenge. Many of the stones have been um, taken away from the site. Many have fallen down. Lots have been eroded. And they're covered in lichens. So, so it would be a completely different atmosphere. Would... <laughs> Complete, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Mm. Till has an answer. What this new VR technology is offering is a possibility, a chance to, well, return back and see and also hear what this place used to look like in the past. We've kind of reconstructed it by rebuilding Stonehenge digitally and then using architectural software to reconstruct the acoustics of the space as it would have been when all the stones were here. So how different is the old sound, the sound we have today? Well, if I tap this drum now, you hear a little bit of an echo. Um, when all the stones are put in place, there's a much more powerful set of enclosure, a slight reverberation, more echo, and it changes more as you walk around. And the reason he's convinced ancient people were interested in sound is because of his work on caves. Hundreds of meters underground they found ancient instruments and human marks on certain stalactites. Stalactites that are musical. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So today, it's just ruined beside a busy road. This, a chance to say goodbye to the 21st century and experience the lost sound of Stonehenge. David Salita, BBC News.